Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, we're going to explore different ad formats as well as Google Display Network. When we log into our AdWords account, we have our all campaigns shown to us. All these tabs, while we are looking at all campaigns, basically allows us to quickly see everything to do with our ad groups if we want, to do with all our keywords if we want, and so on. So what I've done is I've created some sample campaigns for you. As you can see, these little icons here differ. When we've got the magnifying glass, that's for search network. This for video ads, and this for display network. Now, let's talk about display network. Display Network is basically thousands of different websites that participate in Google's programs, such as Google AdSense, DoubleClick Ads, and so on. So when you visit certain sites, you may see ads like this. As I hover, you'll see the URL. It says googleadservices.com. I've got another one, sample one here. So that's an ad as well. Now we know the search intent as in the importance of it, but it may be the case that there is a website on internet participating with Google ad programs and it's very popular and your ideal customers or people you'd like to reach, they go and visit those popular sites. If that's the case, as in you want to advertise to those people, that target audience, you can use display network advertising through Google AdWords. So what I've done is I've created a sample campaign, but let's go back so that I show you while we're looking at ad groups, no, I don't want to add an ad group. I want to add a new campaign. And let's press on Display Network only. You can name your campaign anything you want. Here, you can select Display Network only. And recently, you have this guidance for you. Similar to Facebook ads, it's saying, you know what, would you like to bring brand awareness? If that's the case, that's what you select. If that's not the case, you select any objective that you'd like to utilize Display Network for. And then you simply follow, yeah, save and continue, and it'll guide you through each process. So I'll go back to my campaigns because at that stage, once you select that, let's press on this campaign. I'll show you the power of Google AdWords Display Network Advertising. So now we are in Display Network only. We are looking at ad groups and there is none. We can add an ad group. And when we want to add an ad group, you can name it anything you want. Enhance cost per click bid if you want. Let's say you're willing to pay $2 per click. As an example, you can place your landing page URL here. Let's grab this and let's place that in there. And then as you can see, Google AdWords is doing its magic, trying to find details about your landing page here. Okay, so you have that option. Or you can say, you know what, I'd like to choose different types of targeting. Display keywords. You can say, okay, you know what, for that particular product or service, it's going to give you some keyword ideas, or you can enter your own to find related keyword ideas, and so on. Let's actually choose interest-based remarketing lists in market audiences. You can, as an example, let's say 
um, let's say you, as an example your products and services are to be shown to advertising and marketing services and so on right as you can see impression weekly <laughs> that's a lot of impressions right you can press on details to learn more about what's going on with that. Okay, so you have that option, interest-based, you know, targeting. Or you can select different targeting method and select topics of interest. Perhaps you may say, you know what, I have gaming-related apps. I'd like to showcase that to those who are interested in games. You select that option by simply adding that by pressing this here okay as you can see these are topics that people may be interested in. but you may say you know what i know of a website that my ideal audience is visiting if that's the case you can enter that website address here let's say i wanted to advertise my products and services on this website because People who visit this particular website may be related to my products and services. As in, may be interested. That keyword there is maybe. But nonetheless, it allows me that option. As in, Google AdWords allow me to that yeah, target specifically to that website. That's placements. Or we can say, okay, you know what? Let me select different targeting options here you can say you know what just parents i want to sell toddler cots or prems just to parents and so on or not parent and so on so you know, spending that 10 15 minutes and really narrowing down your display network advertising is only going to serve you in the long run but i've just shown you the the power of Google AdWords through targeting different options here. You can save and continue, and the rest of the process will be the same. While we're here, let's go. Let's go to cancel. Now, pressing on display network, you can press on targeting choose well i haven't created any ad groups but campaign exclusion you can exclude certain people and so on let's go back to ad groups there are no ad groups there let's press on this let's go to display network here let's select this ad group display keywords yes add targeting Placement, remarketing. Let's press on remarketing. Here yeah, we search network to make changes. Go to audiences tab. Yes. Let's go to audiences tab because remarketing is powerful. It allows us to tap in to different people who visited our website previously or our YouTube channel if you operate one. Okay. You can select remarketing lists let's say people who visited my different website of mine where I have the list for it I can simply add that and bring people to my separate blog and so on okay so while we're here let's go back to this particular campaign and let's go to ads I have some image ads here that means you can have different ad formats let's press on image ads let's add an image ad if you've been advertising your website for a while image ad is going to bring this pop-up saying okay you know what let us guide you by using insights from your website or you can upload an ad here you place the display URL and then final URL. 
display URL is what you want people to see. So with image ads, text ads, you can include different display URLs as long as they are very closely related to your final landing page URL. But when you place that display URL, keep this in mind. That automatically is generated here as well. But if I was to go to this page, that's 404, page not found. So always triple check your display URLs compared with the final destination URLs, okay? So now I'm saying display this URL, take people to this landing page. As you can see, I've actually included a keyword that will be easily read and understood when someone sees this URL, okay? Sported ad, image ad sizes is different. There is many different ones. It's ideal to upload popular ones such as these ones are popular, this one is rather popular, skyscraper may be of interest to you, it's fairly large, takes a nice big space, the screen real estate on display network, okay? but these are the image sizes. You simply create the image ad and you simply upload them. You can upload multiple ones all at once. Keep in mind, Google Web Designer actually helps you and assists you creating your image ads as well. It's a free program available through Google. You simply search for it and you can download it and use it as well. Okay. So I'll cancel this because now we can see how easy it is to create image ads as well. Text ad, image ad, yes. While we're here, let's take a look at Display Planner. Display Planner is similar to Keyword Planner, but it gives you more insights as far as showing you where else you can advertise, as in what websites, and what impressions that you will get, as in how popular those websites are, and so on. Let's go back to campaigns because I want to show you one more thing. If you are operating a YouTube channel and if you're not utilizing video ads, then you may be missing out. Because, especially at the beginning, AdWords can get quite expensive for beginners. Especially in 2016. You know, six, seven years ago, <laughs> per click, you were paying 20 cents, 30 cents. It was in cents ranges, but in 2016, more and more businesses go online, want to compete in the ad auction, 5, 6, 7, 10, 12, 15, 16 dollars per click is actually a reasonable amount for search ads, right? But with video ads, you're looking in cents at the moment, it's something new, Google is investing heavily in YouTube ads because it's the future for Asia. The amount of people who use YouTube is unbelievable, but that offers you the potential to reach through video ads as well. You don't have to have YouTube channel to advertise for video ads, but I'll just show you this video ad, as we can see these icons, it's suggesting, you know what, that's a video ad. I'll show you how easy you can create one if you have a YouTube channel. Simply log into your Creator Studio, select any video you'd like to advertise, and choose Promote. If you're logged into AdWords, the whole process will be simplified for you for advertising your videos as well. You simply give the URL of the video through here. You can accomplish that without logging into your YouTube channel. Okay? So you can advertise your videos. As you can see, 16 cents, 16 Australian cents per 30 seconds view, someone interacts with it, 
with the video, then you pay. And that's when I pay for these video ads. But that's very affordable. Because at the end of the day, it's still someone pressing on that video. It's in, they're interacting with it. Yeah, video targeting does allow you to really fine-tune and remarket as well. As well as choosing topics, placements, interests, demographics. And that's the power of Google AdWords. You can include, exclude certain people. There is two types of video ads. One is in display, as in you know, YouTube search. Let's take a look at... I'll show you so that you see. Let's imagine I am searching for SEO courses. As an example, then you'll see some ads come up here. Well, I'm... What's going on here? Yeah, I'm actually ranking at the number one position here, but we've got display network advertisement happening here, as we can see. Let's go to a, let's go to this particular mob here. We can have some ads show up here. We can have ads show up on the right hand side, and so on. But what plays on the video that's called in-stream video ads that means someone has to watch this at a certain time then they pay in this example i just advertise in display not in stream you can youtube ad types you can explore different ad formats as in they're called true view ads all different formats will be explained to you but nonetheless the amount of money that you pay advertising videos is unbelievably cheap and it may be of interest to you at the end of the day Google AdWords is a platform that will allow you to reach the, the vast network of Google including YouTube Maps display network as you now know that includes thousands of different websites to showcase your products and services to almost anyone precisely the way you want to advertise i thank you very much for learning with me and i'll talk with you in the next video session